Hello, ma'am, and how are you? I'm very fine, thank you. Okay. Just kindly give us your name and where you are coming from, please. I'm Betha Mwanza, I'm from Mondola. Okay, ma'am. And what brings you to the Healing Center Studios today? What is your testimony, ma'am? Uh, my testimony is concerning the problem that I've had since February when I was diagnosed with cervical cancer. Okay. Yes, I came in February and I was given the appointment to be admitted on 14th May. Okay. From 14th May, I was in hospital up to 7th July. That's when I was discharged. But after my discharge, instead of getting better when I went home, the condition was getting worse. Okay. Failing to eat, failing to sit, failing to walk because of the, the side effects of the medication. I had even blisters, I can say now they are, they've cleared, I'm healed. Okay. I couldn't walk. I couldn't sit the way I'm sitting right now. Okay. Even when I came today, I was just sleeping on the, on the chairs. On the bus, they made a provision for me not to sit straight like I'm sit, sitting. I, like sit, I, I was sitting in a, in, a, in a position whereby I shouldn't, the, mama, the, the blister shouldn't touch the, the, the main seat. So when I came here, in the morning, before I came here, I trusted my God. Because even the time that I was admitted in hospital, I sneaked out one day. I came one Sunday. I couldn't pull through, but went back. I said, no, Lord, this is not my day, but my day is coming. Then as I was home, I continued praying. I said, Lord, my day is coming. I'm not going back to Ndola until I see the man of God with this high anointing. Then I started praying over it. Yesterday, I communicated with, we, with the, 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 the girls on the phone. She told me that we're having prayers on, way on, on Tuesday. But today, I didn't have peace. I just had to go. Something was just pushing me, pushing me. I said, me, I want to see the man of God. I just want to see the man of God. So I called the, 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 the girl on the phone. She said, no, it is today when actually the man of God is seeing people. Tomorrow we are having a service. I said, I'm coming right away. On the bed where I was lying, because I don't usually sit because of the blisters and I feel weak all the time. I just prayed. I said, Lord, today is my day. Where I'm going, everything should finish today. I've had enough. And I said, enough is enough. Amen. That's what I said. Amen. Then I started preparing. I told my son to prepare me some breakfast. He said, Mom, what are you going to eat? I failed to eat. I said, just give me an egg. I couldn't eat. I started off... He escorted me. I was failing to walk until up to the station. On the bus, people were just looking at me. When I reached here, I registered. Waited. Still, I was sleeping. People saw me limping, sleeping. I couldn't come alone here. I booked from the station. I even got the, the, the phone number. But, you know, I realized, I said, I'm getting the phone number when I've come for healing. Getting the phone number for, from the taxi drive. So when my time came to go inside, I struggled again just to rise up, to, to get inside, to go and see the man of God. When I went there, he looked at me. He asked me. I didn't say many things. I said, I've come with faith, Papa. I'm a pastor. I'm saving God. I've saved God. I want to be saved. I want to be delivered. I want my healing, my breakthrough, and everything to come back. That's when he told me to kneel down and got the, the cloth. That, yes. that cloth is anointed. The scarf, anointing. Anointing. the scarf then of miracles. The scarf of miracles. Then he just put it here on me and just casted the spirit of death. That's how I just saw power throughout me. Power throughout me. When they were lifting me, I was just feeling power, 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 power. And then I was brought on the carpet. Prayed for just with few words. I, I woke up. This is me now. Me now, Bertha Mwanza, Pastor Bertha. Okay. Actually, yes. Pastor Bertha, obviously, as as a pastor, from the time that that um, you, from the time that you had this disease, because you are now healed, and the, you know the God of Bishop John General has healed you and he has set you free. How did it affect your faith? You being a pastor and finding that you had cervic, um, cancer of the cervix. I really had a challenge. Actually, it hasn't been easy for me to do God's work. Because with my health, it has been going down, down, down. 
it's really a challenge, you know, when, when as a servant of God, you're going through problems. People will never understand you that God's time is the best. They only look at you, maybe that you don't have faith. Maybe there's something wrong. Maybe you've sinned against God. But God's time is the best. And I've believed God from the time that I started serving God from 2005. I went to the Bible school for, for three years. I have served my God faithfully and I knew that he would do it and he has done it for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Um, as a pastor, um, I think um, going to, to another man of God and, and obviously going to seek healing is, is difficult for other pastors, for other men of God to come and do, just to humble yourself under another man of God, you know, even you yourself being, being a pastor. So how come you made a decision as a pastor to say, no, I am going um, to this man of God, he's going to pray for me, I am determined, and I know that I'm going to be healed. Was that an easy decision for you to make, for you to come here, just to be prayed for by the senior prophet? It was not easy, but by the grace of God, when we look at the fivefold ministries, that's where we start appreciating other people's gifts. I appreciate what the man of God is doing here. I appreciate what God is doing through Prophet John General. That is why I came here. It is just to appreciate the fivefold ministry. He is, yes, a servant of God, whom I can even submit to. Because even in the five-fold ministries, we have people submitted to other fellow servants of God. What is your word of encouragement um, to people who just don't believe in the God of our senior prophet, Bishop John General? Um, for you yourself, you came here believing, and just one prayer instantly, um, just by the senior prophet laying the scarf of miracles on you, you have received your healing. What is your word of encouragement to somebody out there who might also have some, like, um, cervical cancer, and they're also looking for, for help? They've been to hospitals, but still more no solution. Their condition is getting worse. What a word of encouragement would, would you tell them, all the viewers that are watching right now? I'm encouraging them to look up to God. God is the only healer. God is the only solution. God has the final word concerning our lives. You might be told that you are in stage 3. You might, you might be told that your cancer has reached stage 4. You might be told that your cancer has advanced. But with God, all things are possible. I've believed God. I was told in dollar that, my, that the cancer has reached, has reached stage 3B. Whereby stage 3B, he, chances are very slim for one to get healed. But I've believed God and I've told my God that I will not die but live to declare your greatness. I encourage you out there, don't just worry about anything. God is there for you. Come, come with faith. Come believing. You're going to receive your miracle, your miracle here. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are still, when striving cease. My comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ. I stand. Ooh.